let's go back to passivetotal.org. Okay, here we go. And let's go to open source intelligence. Okay. So when you're in the platform, one of the tabs that you'll commonly see pop up is OSINT. And OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence. And this is just information that's publicly or freely available online uh, that's, that you know, in, is able to provide us some additional context. Um, and so the, the trick behind OSINT in our case is that we actually have a custom Google search engine that is being used to search for a subset of security-based websites um, and other parts of the open web. And that when you're running queries, uh, on community.riskiq.com, in this case for passivetotal.org, we are then going and putting that query inside of our Google custom search engine and sending the results back to, to you inside of the, the interface. And so within the OSINT tab, we're gonna get the source, a direct link, and then tags associated with um, the information that we were able to collect. And what I find particularly valuable with this information is that it just helps me tell the story sometimes. PassiveTotal.org, if we knew nothing about it, the open source intelligence repository, uh, or a tab in this case, is giving us a number of leads to other websites um, and some indication of, you know, there's a blog, that there's a help website, there's an association to, to riskiq.com. GitHub. GitHub, there's maybe code that's been uh, written around this service. There's a Crunchbase profile that might tell me more about the company itself or just indicating that it's a company. And so open source intelligence, you know, one of the jokes that we used to have as analysts was, why don't you go Google it? Mm -hmm. Well, that's effectively what we're doing here. And you can see that that Googling um, gives us more context than what we had before. And when we're dealing with something malicious, uh, we run the, 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 the benefit of potentially getting open source intelligence that a security company may have found this malicious infrastructure, or maybe there was uh, some sort of obscure virus uh you know website or sandboxing website that ran malware that referenced the infrastructure we're looking at that that we didn't pick up through one of our um uh, hash relationships our partners mm -hmm. maybe they missed it but google uh and their indexing found it so the open source intelligence tab is a great way to help tell a story to help get a narrative around what you're looking at when looking at the data source itself you want to be keen on is there any information showing up if there isn't, then you know you, you got to dig a little bit further. But there, if there is, it's always worth exploring what is uh, coming back. But it doesn't really stop there. You kind of want to look at the source of information as well. Mm -hmm. um, and much like you're evaluating the news that you're reading every day, you need to evaluate the source of information that is uh, you know included. Uh, that's that's giving you this open source intelligence. And, and maybe even the number of sources. I know that we have an example that we'll do as an exercise where you, you have an indicator, and if you go look at the open source intelligence, you can find out who the threat actor is right away. Yeah. So it's a, it's a way to, to jumpstart your investigation to be able to reference this to see, oh, I had this one indicator, but that, that's really part of this big threat actor group. And that's, then you, you, you know that you might be under attack from them. Yeah, it's, a, it's really a good way to short circuit an investigation where... You know, I love going to the open source intelligence tab right away, especially when I'm dealing with something new, mm -hmm. simply because I, I love doing the work of the analysis. But if I can build off of someone else's foundation, that's that's just going to save me time. Mm -hmm. And as a defender, that's really what I'm concerned with. How do I make the assessment quickly? Because I have either my boss or someone who's depending on me to make that decision. Mm -hmm. And the open source intelligence tab can really do uh, do wonders for that. We don't in, uh, we don't actually bring in any sort of um, date information associated with the sources of intelligence. So I would say that when you're exploring the open source intelligence uh, links from our platform, uh, you have to go through and, and be mindful that there is no date information associated with these. And so you could be looking at a report that is maybe 10 years old, um, or it could be 10 days old. So just try to find that, that timing information so that if you're looking at a particular piece of infrastructure and you know, you're only focused on this period of time, um, you want to make sure that that open source intelligence is lining up with that time frame as well.